Think you can run this school? If you could, then I wouldn't be here, would I? No one talks in my meetings. No one! You take out your pencils and write. I want the names of every hoodlum, drug dealer, and miscreant who's done nothing but take this place apart on my desk by noon today. Reverend Slappy. Yes, sir. You are now the chief custodian, Reverend Slappy. You will scour this building clean. Graffiti goes up, it's off the next day. Is that clear? Yes, sir, the very next day. Detention students can help you. Let them scrub this place for a while. And tear down those cages in the cafeteria. You treat them like animals, that's exactly how they'll behave. This is my new dean of security, Mr. William Wright. He will be my avenging angel as you teachers reclaim the halls. This is an institution of learning, ladies and gentlemen. If you can't control it, how can you teach? Discipline is not the enemy of enthusiasm. Mr. Zarella. Yes, sir. Mr. Zarella, you are now my new head football coach. Mr. Darnell. Stand up, Mr. Darnell. Mr. Darnell will be your assistant. You know why you're being demoted, Mr. Darnell? Because I'm sick and tired of our football team getting pushed all over the field. Thank you. Sit down. I want precision. I want a weight program. And if you don't like it, Mr. Darnell, you can quit. The same goes for the rest of you. You've tried it your way for years. And your students can't even get past a minimum basic skills test. That means they can hardly read. They've given me less than one year, one school year, to turn this place around, to get those test scores up, so the state will not take us over to perform the task which you have failed to do, to educate our children. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. There's only one boss in this place, and that's me. The HNIC. Are there any questions? Mr. Wright? The HNIC? The head nigger in charge. My man put me up for the share, one fourth of a square, headed for Delaware with one change of gear. Nothing on my mind but the dimes that we blaze with the glaze in my eye that we find when we crave dollars and cents. A fugitive with two attempts, Jake's had no trace of the face. Now they drew a print, though I'm innocent to proven guilty. I'ma try to get filthy, purchase a club and start up a real team. For real, G, I'ma fulfill my dream. If I can seal my scheme, then precisely I build my cream. The first trip without the click, sent the bitch with the quarter. Brick, this is it, fresh face, NY place, got a crooked eye for the jakes, I want it all, armor on bins and endless papes, God's sake, what a nigga gotta do to make a half a million, without the FBI catching feelings, street dreams are made of these, niggas push beamers and 300 Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the top dog of them all, there was a rubble double, Five minutes it lasted, the mirror said You are, you conceited bastard Well that's true, that's why we never have no beef So I slipped off my khakis and my gold leaf Use oil of LA cause my skin gets pale And then I got the foul for my fingernails You know all of your shit comes down on my head Oh Frank, look, th no, this is... let me talk 
It's like you're a big bird with radar, and I'm tired of getting hit. Is this my fault? This is nothing. I've got union lawyers threatening me, and it's talk of a walkout. Well, let them. They're not teaching anything down there anyway. Then it's your job to not do something about it. Not one of them has a personal stake in that school, Frank. Not one. The fire chief was just here. He says it's illegal to bar those doors. Mrs. Barrett is organizing a parents group to try to get you removed, since you insulted them at that meeting the other night when you just suggested that they get off welfare. Oh, I didn't mean it. Because the fact is, quite a few of them need it. I wasn't talking to all of them, Frank. Now, look, you came and recruited me, man. You disappoint me, brother. You disappoint me. The disappointment here is you. Me? Yes. Look, you know who I am. You know me 30 years. You know what I would do. You know how Nigga, I can operate? you keep quiet? The fact is, you're screwing up. You're alienating everybody. Look at you. You have no life. Your wife left you. I ought to walk out on you myself. Well, go ahead. Bail hell on out. But I said I would back you up. That's what you said, Frank. That's what you said. Brother, I will go to the fire with you. But you are not taking care of business. This shit you're pulling now, you just gone plain loco. Now you suspend Darnell. What the hell was that? Darnell is symptomatic of the disciplinary problem. He is that a we're good, having strong, system. young black teacher. So he dumped that desk right on top of your head. Well, right on. Good for him. You will reinstate that man, you hear? And then you fire Mrs. Elliot. Why? Because she didn't want to kiss your ass. Well, I wouldn't either. How about that? Mrs. Elliot has an ego. Yeah, well, you lost the best teacher we had. You, we couldn't get her back now if we wanted her. I don't have time for Mrs. Elliot's problem. Well, you better make time. We are being crucified by a process that is turning blacks into a permanent underclass here, Frank. A permanent underclass. No, no, see? Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody. Mrs. Elliot's missionary zeal about Mozart has nothing to do with our problem. Nothing! What good is Mozart going to do a bunch of children who can't go out and get a job? Joe, your personal battles are going to cost us the war. Worry about the test scores. What the hell do you think I'm worried about? Frank? End of discussion! Debate is over. You will write a formal apology. I will what? A formal apology for your treatment of Mrs. Elliot and Darnell and for your vicious and thoughtless insult to the women of this community. You will kowtow, you will step and fetch. Frank, if you think you can get me. Get used to it, it's the way of the world. If you're so hot on discipline, then goddammit, start by accepting mine. Because contrary to popular opinion, I'm the head nigger in charge. Come on, let's get something to eat. You really think you're bad, don't you? 